my topic is prospective study on the clinical profile of meconium aspiration syndrome in the tertiary care hospital with the aims is to study the, uh, to study and to find out the risk factor which is associated with meconium aspiration syndrome its management profile and complication and outcome in the tertiary care hospital Uh, out of 988 babies born through the meconium syndrome amnitive fluid, uh, 105 babies developed the meconium aspiration syndrome during the NICU stay. Out of this, the 74% are male and the 25% are female. So, the male-female ratio is 2.9 gem, uh, gem 1 in our study. About 91% uh, cases of MS are noted in the full term and the post term, uh, more than 37 weeks. In the present study, the mean gestational age of the baby uh, with MS is 38 to 40 weeks. About 66% uh, unit with MAS were uh, falling in the weight range of 1.5 kg to 2.5 kg and only 1.9 neonates with MAS have the birth weight less than 1.5 kg. The most common fetal risk factor which is associated with meconium aspiration syndrome is the fetal distress which is in 51% uh, neonates and the most common maternal risk factor which is associated with MAS is uh, pregnancy induced hypertension which is followed by PROM and oligohydramnios. Meconium aspiration syndrome is the one most common cause of the respiratory distress in the newborn. The risk of MAS in the offspring may be decreased by the proper antenatal fetal well-being monitoring, rapid identification of the fetal distress and the prompt delivery in the presence of poor heart, fetal heart rate variability. In case of MASF baby, the risk of meconium aspiration can be decreased by proper neonatal resuscitation by the trained birth attendant and the risk of complication and mortality can be reduced by proper monitoring and the uh, prompt uh, intensive care intensive care management uh, pphn is the 5.8% 5, 5 in our study uh, uh, th uh, the mortality is 30% uh, you know my study due to all over all over Hmm. Okay, good.